Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from Chile Mathematical Olympiad final round 2020. Problem number one. We wish to find all positive integers n such that the decimal rep representation of the number 6 to the power of n plus 1 has all its digits the same. So for example, only 1s or only 7s or something like that. It's a pretty nice problem. Here, I, here are my hints. First of all, notice that if we have a number which has only digits a, uh, it can be written as a over 9 times 10 to the power k minus 1, where k is the number of digits. Then, well, some numbers can be dismissed immediately. Namely, notice that 6 to the power n plus 1 is divisible neither by 2 nor by, nor by 3. So some cases are dismissed immediately. And finally, uh, the most interesting case is when our number equals 777 seven, seven and so on. And to check when this is possible, consider separately cases when n is less than or equal 5, and for n greater than or equal 6, consider reduction modulo 64. So give this problem a try and I will see you in just a minute. Okay, so as I suggested, let's notice. Let's notice that, uh, well, 2 does not divide 6 to the power of n plus 1 and 3 does not divide 6 to the power of n plus 1. Uh, very well. And that means that immediately implies that 6 to the power of n plus 1 cannot be equal cannot be equal to number consisting only of digits 2 cannot consist only of 3s because of this number is divisible by 3 and it cannot have only 4s cannot have sixes, seven can be, eights can be. So not, so not these numbers are easily dismissed. So let's now consider the remaining cases, namely uh, only ones, only fives and only sevens. And only nines are also uh, excluded. Very well. So now let's consider three possible cases. Case number one. Case number one. Our number consists of, of digits one. Let's say k digits one. Well, as I suggested, it can be written as one over nine, 10 to the power k minus one. And now if I multiply both sides by nine, I have 9 times 6 to the power of k plus 9 or let's, let's put also 1 on the left hand side so plus 10 equals 10 to the power of k and now we have a problem namely this number is divisible by, by 10 this number is also divisible by 10 because k is a positive integer and but this number is not oh so this man number is is not divisible it's not divisible by 10 and these numbers are so we have a problem contradiction we have a contradiction okay so that was easy second case slightly harder case number two our number consists only of digits five so it's five five and so on k times so it can be written as five over nine ten to the power k minus one where k is a positive integer what now well, I can write 9 times 6 to the power of n 
plus 14 equals 5 times 10 to the power of k. Very well. And now, is it possible? No, it's not. Uh, to show that this equality cannot happen, let's consider reduction modulo 5. Reduction modulo 5. Because what happens? Well, 6 is congruent to 1, so we have 9 plus 14 should be congruent to 0 modulo 5. In other words, it should be true that 23 is congruent to 0 modulo 5, which is obviously false. Contradiction. Another contradiction. Contradiction. So no luck, no luck there. Third and last case, case number three and final, our number and uh, 6 to the power of n plus 1 has only digits 7. So let's write 7 over 9, 10 to the power of k minus 1, where k is some positive integer. So in other words, we can write it in the following way. Mm. 9 times 6 to the power of n plus 16 equals 7 times 10 to the power of k. Okay, and now I wish to consider a few cases separately. Namely, first I will consider cases from 1 to 5. So, if n equals 1, notice the following. If n equals 1, well, then 6 to the power of n plus 1 is 7. So it's it has only digits 7. All the digits of it are the same. <laughs> Trivially. <laughs> what happens if n equals 2? Well, if n equals 2, then 6 to the power of n plus 1, it's 37. So it has not all, of it, all its digits the same. If n equals 3, what happens? Well, then 6 to the power of n plus 1 is 6 cubed is 216, I believe, so it's 217. 200, let me check it really quick, real quick. Yes, it is. So, uh, no luck there. If n equals 4, then 6 to the power of n plus 1 equals... 1997 and finally if n equals 5 then 6 to the power of n plus 1 it has 4 sevenths so we see that our conditions are met in this case in this and in case n equals 1 okay so that happens for n from 1 to 5. Something more interesting happens for n greater than 5. So let's consider it here. If n is greater than or equal 6, actually. What happens then? Then I suggest to make reduction, reduction modulo 64. Why 64? Well, if you look closely, 6 to the power of n is 3 to the power of n times 2 to the power of n. And 2 to the power of 6 is 64. So now we know that this part, 9 times 6 to the power of n, is congruent to 0 modulo 64. So the following should be true. 7 times 10 to the power of k should be congruent to 16 modulo 64. And that immediately implies that immediately implies that k must be less than or equal what exactly? 6. Uh, 6? No, 5. 5. Why is that? Because 
7 times 10 to the power of k is congruent to 0 modulo 64 for k greater than or equal 6. Because 10 to the power of 6 has as its factor 2 to the power of 6 and it's 64. So we now need to check only, only uh, 5 cases. And let's do it. So if if k equals 1, if k equals 1, what happens now? If k equals 1, we know that uh, our congruence says that 70 is congruent to 16 modulo 64, which is false. Which is false. If k equals 2, then... 700 should be congruent to 16, which is also false. You can verify it by hand easily. And in fact, in every other case, in every other case, you will get a contradictory congruence. 7,000 and so on. Very well. In fact, I leave it to you, all these congruences are false. So our second case does not give us any solutions. So all in all, there are only two solutions to our problem, namely, Namely, n is either 1 or n is 5. And we are done. So, yes, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.